Thank you all for joining us today. We are here to talk about energy and um, we're here to talk about the challenges facing American families and Virginia families in particular when it comes to energy prices. Um, Virginia families are being squeezed right now with the cost of energy, with the cost of health care, uh, with rising costs of food, which relates back to energy. Um, on the one end, prices are going up. On the other end, you see Virginia families, uh, their wages getting cut, their hours getting cut. So in the middle, you get families struggling to meet their uh, needs to pay their bills, to, to uh, pay their mortgages, and, and to put food on the table for their families. So uh, my colleagues and I are here today to, to talk about what we can do to encourage exploration of, of additional energy sources to help increase supply and bring down cost. Virginia is blessed with a diverse array of natural resources, uh, ranging from coal in the southwest uh, to wind power to solar to oil off and gas off of our coastline. Uh, there has been some exploration. It's been determined that there uh, are deposits there that can be mined. And so we have made it known uh, in the House of Delegates that uh, we would like to open up those resources for exploration and, and for drilling. And um, our governor has asked Secretary of Energy Ken Salazar to put a hold on allowing additional uh, exploration on the coast. Delegate Landis and others up the valley and today I have joined them uh, and Delegate Bell is here with us as well to urge Secretary Salazar to not delay any longer. Our families here in the valley can't wait. We need lower energy costs now. We need exploration now. And so uh, I've written a letter today and, and I've distributed it to the press. Delegate Landis will talk about his letter that he's signed with other delegates uh, already uh, to urge Secretary Salazar to allow uh, immediate exploration for oil and gas development. You know, the, the economic potential is significant. The revenues are estimated to be about $13 billion over 30 years, or $451 million a year. It's estimated that there would be about $8 billion in capital investment and about 2,600 2, new jobs created as a result of this exploration. So uh, we think this is a good thing for Virginia, a good thing for the families of Virginia, a good thing for the taxpayers. and. Uh, I hope that the Governor and that the Secretary of Natural Resources will join us in allowing exploration off the coast. With that, I'll yield to uh, Delegate Landis to talk about this letter. Well, um, back on August 28th, um, Delegate Lohr, myself, and, and Delegate Saxman, and um, Mr. Bell um, contacted the Secretary and actually wrote a letter um, expressing the same thoughts of what um, Delegate Klein has talked about. From my perspective, as a member of the Appropriations Committee, uh, this would not only benefit the Commonwealth and our citizens from an energy standpoint, and any kind of um, additional energy sources we can recover and utilize, we need to be doing that. Um, energy is an issue in this campaign. But it also, more importantly, benefits the Commonwealth of Virginia from a financial standpoint, as Delegate Klein has mentioned. And that's a great benefit to our citizens because it could be used for transportation, it could be used for other purposes. And um, even though the exploration may take a little while, we need to do this now so that we get started and have those revenues coming in and benefiting our citizens. As you all know, if you look at what has occurred in Alaska, their state budget benefits greatly and their citizens individually benefit greatly from the oil resources that are produced and, and actually um, the exploration that occurs there. So that's just one example of what one state can do uh, to benefit its citizens. So um, 
I really wanted to comment on support Ben Glad he's writing a letter as well. We hope that the, the Secretary at the national level and our governor um, and our administration will move forward on this, really push this before the end of the year. Um, Congress is back in session now, um, but we need to uh, get this accomplished before the end of the year to benefit um, all Virginians and the nation as a whole. Well, I'm just, uh, as a candidate, uh, I hope to be in the General Assembly when, when we can push this forward. I certainly support uh, Steve, Ben, and Matt and Laura up the valley. Uh, I think if we're going to find domestic solutions to the energy questions and ever have uh, energy independence in this country, then we've got to start right here with our own natural resources. And delays just don't make sense. This uh, has, has an opportunity to create jobs for Virginians. In addition to other things, we have the potential to sell offshore leases and use that money to help remedy the transportation problems. We have a lot of possibilities here, and it's time to move on. And the window for comments uh, to the Secretary is closing at the end of September. That's the reason why uh, we're sending the letters now. Our comments have to be in by uh, September 30th, so uh, that's the reason. Not just uh, that artificial deadline, but also because uh, the families in Virginia can't afford to wait either. They need relief from high energy costs now, and that's why we need to act, and that's why the federal government needs to act. Will there be a push for additional gasoline taxes next year? Uh, one of the candidates for governor has uh, pushed for those tax increases in the past. Um, he's uh, moving away from that at the moment, but uh, my opponent has said he would support additional gas tax increases in the debate we had in the Chamber of Commerce uh, uh, on Tuesday. So uh, I hope that we have a General Assembly that does not support additional gas taxes because in this economy, with families hurting, we can't afford to raise any of the taxes that are currently placed on our citizens, whether it's income taxes, sales taxes, or gas taxes, the families of Virginia, as I said at the beginning, are, are being squeezed by higher costs and lower wages. The other thing is we, um, for some of us, we're not sure where our opponents stand on this. They've talked about energy and alternative energy sources, but this is something that's there with uh, oil and natural gas. Um, the scientists and the experts are very confident there are um, deposits out there, but you have to be able to explore and locate them to make sure. And that's what we're saying. This, we need to move on this now. We can't wait any longer. Um, and I think both of us would like to know where our, um, our opponents stand on, on the issue of energy independence and really um, helping the citizens of Virginia, not only with energy sources, but with the potential revenue that can benefit um, our, each and every one of our citizens and also help keep um, raising their taxes, which uh, I think we hear constantly that uh, in this recessionary period, they do not want their taxes raised. Any other questions? All right, well, we'll wait to see what the Secretary says, and appreciate y'all coming out today. Listening to the 